What's going on guys? So in one of the previous videos, I showed you actionable projects that you can start, projects that are making a ton of money that you can easily build using no code and can also make money with those projects as well. Now, I also realized that some of the projects that I showed you before are a little bit complicated and there are lots of moving pieces there. So it may take some time and effort to implement that, them correctly. So in this video, I want to show you a few simple projects that you can build using no code tools. And these are projects that you can make money with because they provide a ton of value to various visitors. And these are actually apps that I use. And so I definitely know that there is a lot of profitable potential with these projects. And the best part of it all is that they're relatively simple, they're relatively easy to build, and this is gonna allow you to build the most important thing, which is practice and experience, and plus you can easily monetize them as well. So the first tool that I use all the time, I use it all the time, is called a title case converter. And this is where it's actually hosted. It's hosted on a domain called title caseconverter.com. And so why I like this tool so much? Well, if I want to create some kind of a blog article or, you know, an article in a newspaper or a YouTube video, anything that has a title, I want to make sure it's capitalized correctly. Now, I know this seems very, very simple. This seems like one of these things that you don't really need a tool for. But trust me when I tell you this site gets a ton of traffic and it's just genius strategy, you know, for such a simple site that does something very, very simple to provide a ton of value. With. And so if we go into similarweb.com and you type the name of this domain here, you come in here, you will see that this site gets a ton of ton of traffic. Look at that. It got 182,000 visits in February. And what this essentially means is that you will be able to make a ton of money when you build such a simple site if it's providing a lot of value. And this is actually a site I use all the time. And so just to show you how it works, and then we're going to go in and I'm going to show you how to build such a site in Bubble or any other tool is that, let's say I write a title, uh, how to learn no code. Below, I can choose different styles, or I can say in 2022, the best way, okay? Uh, below, I can choose different styles, AMA, AP, APA, Blue Book. So let's say I want New York Times style. I just choose that. I have a couple of options here. Keyboards in all caps, enable multi-line input, et cetera, et cetera. We're just going to leave defaults. I'm going to hit convert. And this is the answer. This is the title. I can simply copy it. And now this title is available. So if I paste it in here, this is the title. Now I know this sounds very, very simple and very, very easy. And yes, you can click here. Uh, you can, you know, you can just Google for New York Times manual of style and usage or, you know, AMA manual of style and usage. You can do all that. But guys, you got to realize that even for somebody like me, and I consider myself not a very lazy person, I consider myself a relatively a hard worker, it provides a lot of value. And so from a business standpoint, right, if you can save someone time, if you can save them from, you know, reading this, this manual and uh, learning the style, you know, I just want, you know, I just want articles to look like New York Times, okay? I don't want to learn what, what, you know, what words to capitalize, what words to not capitalize. Do I capitalize T? Do I capitalize B? Do I capitalize that? Do I capitalize that? This is a site I use all the time. And I really like New York Times style. I use it for my YouTube videos. I actually use it for the videos that you're watching on this channel. I use it everywhere. So this is a great site. And this site has ads. So these are ads. I'm not in the United States right now. But if you are watching this from the United States or um, maybe Canada, countries like that, the UK, you're going to see ads here. And so every time somebody visits the site, they are being monetized. They're, you know, they're watching ads, they're clicking on ads, they're actually, you know, they're ad impressions. And so this side is making a ton of money. So in order to calculate how much money they're making, you just have to understand the monetization potential of something like this. 
and you simply multiply the amount of money that you know someone like an advertiser is paying, and typically it's measured uh, in terms of thousands of impressions. It's actually called CPM, which is cost per milli or cost per a thousand impressions. So if this site is getting, let's say, 182,000 visits per month, and they're getting paid, uh, you know, maybe a dollar per, you know, per impression, that they're making close to 200 dollars a month. If they're getting paid, let's say, $5 per impression, they're making something like $1,000 per month. So we don't really know exactly what, you know, how much they're getting paid for these ads. But this is a site you can simply build it and forget it, which is kind of like a really solid and a good long-term strategy. So if you go to our diagram here, the way you want to build it is the purpose statement is going to be very simple, right? You're just going to copy this. We're going to make it a little bit smaller. And we're going to say capitalize the text that's it right capitalize the text that is the purpose statement very very simple for the views we're gonna have one view right so i'm gonna come in here i'm gonna create a view just one view guys very very simple what is the model there is no model right we're not saving anything we're not doing anything there is no um there's no data that's being saved between sessions. So in other words, if I come here and now let's say I refresh it, it's not going to save it. It's a very, very bare bones design. And so for the model, there is no model, right? So we're just going to do this. I'm going to copy. I'm going to paste that here and just going to say no model, right? Very simple, guys. No model. And what is the logic? The logic, let's copy this. The logic is to simply to run a workflow just going to say workflow in bubble or in app guy where it's logic and that's going to do various rules depending on what they pick so if they picked new york times it's going to do you know new york times so in other words it's only going to capitalize certain words as opposed to capitalizing everything if they're doing mma -M it's going to be a different style when you want to start out i would just focus on one of these styles okay later on uh, you can add options, but I would just remove both of this. I will just say title case converter. You know, you can call it something like this, but I would just remove all of these options and I would simply just do New York Times. That's it. That's how you build an MVP. Remember, we are building an MVP here, MVP version 0.001. This means very, very bare bones uh, kind of system. And so the workflow is going to be capitalized, capitalized input text. And so in Bubble or any app, you know, builder you're using, you're going to have a field that's going to be text and then you're going to have an OK button. OK, so very simple, right? An OK button. I hope that's kind of clear. This is going to be a button. OK, and this is going to be the input text, right? Just let me, let me make it a little bit, a little bit bigger here. And then you're going to have a button right here. And that's it. Once you click on a button, you're going to run this workflow. And this workflow is going to, you know, capitalize each of the words. And how you implement it is up to you. Maybe you're going to do it using a plugin. Maybe you're going to do it using your own, um, your own specific workflow. Maybe you're going to use a third-party plugin. It's up to you. I don't really want to talk about the implementation here. If you guys want me to do implementation of this, let me know below. Because this is more of a design architecture type video. Just to kind of show you some ideas. And so how you implement it, it's up to you. But judging by this app, if I have this here, I hit convert, I chose here, uh, this should not be very complicated. Actually, uh, let's do this. We're going to hit OK. And what, what you want to do is you want to, yeah, you're going to hit OK. And then you're going to have another. This is not going to be an input text. This is going to be just static, like a text label. And that's going to display the result, right? So you have this input here. This is the input. You hit the OK button and you're going to display the result. You can do all of that in Bubble or any of the other tools that you're working with. Now, let me show you something else. If you Google something like SEO tools, okay, just SEO tools, and there are hundreds of these tools out there. There are tons and tons of these tools out there. But let me, let me just explain to you how it works. If you Google for SEO tools, you're going to have a bunch of results here, okay? You want to open up something like small SEO tools. Once you open this up, you're going to be on a page that looks something like this. It's called text content tools. And 
not all of these tools are you know, going to be easy to build. And so depending on which tool you build, uh, it's going to be a varying level of difficulty. So we have a plagiarism checker. We have an article rewriter. We have a grammar check. We have a word counter. So these first three tools are, you know, relatively involved. They're relatively sophisticated. So what I would do is I would focus on the word counter. So if I click on the word counter here, if I open it in a new tab and I type something, hey there, how is it going? I say count words. It's going to count my words and then it's going to respond, right? And these tools, they're getting a lot of traffic. So if I take the small SEO tools, I paste it into um, this, tire, this uh, similar web here, right? I go in here, I paste it in here. Here it is. I guarantee you they're getting a lot of traffic. 6.7 million views last month. So I think that should be enough for you. We're talking about more than 10 times. We're talking something like 20 to 30 times more than the previous site. So the previous site was something like 185. If we go to 6, 7 divided by 85,000, right? That's 36 times more traffic than the previous example. And so this site is making a ton of money regardless of how much you know money they're making with ads. With this amount of traffic, they're making a ton of money. So let's take a look at some of the other tools and then we're going to talk about how to implement them. We have an uppercase to lowercase converter, right? Very, very simple. We have a word combiner, okay? Let's open up this word combiner. What exactly does it do? It says merge words online tool. Merge words in a quick and easy way for Google AdWords, link building, domain, etc., etc. So if I type words here, hey, uh, let's say column one, and I say column one B, column, so that I know where, you know, where I type this in. And I say this is going to be column two, B, and this is column three, right? And I say merge words. Okay, I hit that. And I scroll down, and what does it do? It, it, it makes combinations. You see how it creates combinations. This is very useful in some applications. So if I remove the third column, I do merge words, I scroll down, and it, it makes combinations. And so this is very, very useful in various applications. So it's like AdWords, the maining, link building. So if you're not familiar what that is, and this is very, very important, these are things that people pay money to use because these are ways that people make money online. My first suggestion to you, my first advice is to go out and learn exactly what these topics are, and then you can build the appropriate tool in no code. But what I recommend here, right? The first I recommend is building something, this title case converter. This is a straightforward tool. I use this tool multiple times every single day for various titles that I have to create for various pieces of content. So this is number one. Like I said, you're not going to include all of that. Now, when we come to these tools here, right? Let's open these tools. What I would recommend is a word counter. I would recommend uppercase to lowercase. I would even recommend maybe an MD5 generator. You can kind of learn more about it. Word combiner. And that's about it, right? A lot of these other tools, reverse text generator, maybe you can do that as well. Many of these other tools are a little bit more advanced. But if you can make all of them, more power to you, right? Because you're going to have more customers, more users. And all of these tools can be done in an app such as Bubble or AppGyver. You can create custom components. You can create custom plugins. You can do all of this. It's just a matter of how far you want to go, how much effort you want to go into building it. If you're just going to be building something simple like this title case converter, very, very good idea. If you want to do something like this, I would highly recommend just starting with this and I would highly recommend something simple like a word counter. And this is an app that's going to get traffic. People are going to discover it. It's going to be free and you can place ads on it. Okay. You don't need to have a membership. Yeah. You can even do a membership if you want, maybe like a, you know, $5 a month to, to have access to all of these tools. But the way they monetize uh, a lot of these tools is using something called 
online ads. So this is something you can go to Google. They have an AdSense program where you put a piece of code on your app and that automatically loads the ads. And that's how the majority of these tools are actually making money and monetizing. And so you can find a lot of these other tools. You can also Google for something like text tools. You know, you can find text tool, text manipulation, editing, and formatting. So let's open this up. I've never been on this site before. And so you can you can do word count, difference, reverse, concatenate text, right? So you can come in here and I have A, B, C, one, two, three, and I hit combine. And it basically combines the first element in the first column with the first element in the second column, which is common sense, right? It's so easy, right? You can just create two components in, in the app you're doing and just go through each component and just concatenate. That That's actually a built-in feature. Uh, it's a built-in function in a lot of these tools. Very, very simple. And so if we go back, uh, if we go back to the tools here, you have swap columns. You had add prefix and suffix, right? So if you go in here, prefix is A, suffix is B, and this is kind of our input. And if we do that, uh, it just basically takes this, adds it. So if I say clear, and I say one, two, three, it takes, this is the beginning, then it takes this, and then it adds this at the end. And so if you want to see how much traffic they're getting, you can just simply paste it here, you know, just do it like I did with the other sites, and you can see how much traffic they're getting. But if I had to guess, they're getting a ton of traffic simply because they're offering a bunch of tools, and these are super useful tools. So you don't need to build all of these tools. You don't need to do everything they're doing. You can just start with something simple, and go from there. But the point is, if you guys are kind of overwhelmed with the other tutorials, with making these complex apps, the solution to that is to start with something simple. Typically something like this one page app uh, that does something very, very specific like I talked about in this architecture diagram. We have one view, we have no model, and we have like one logic that, you know, one function that just does one thing. And you can build on that and you can create a tool that people like me will use it multiple times a day and you're gonna be getting various uh, monetization. And as a result, you'll be able to monetize it using different ways. So if you want um, inspiration, just Google for text tools, Google for um, you know SEO tools, online, you know, online text tools, so many ways of kind of do, here you go, online text tools. Let's open this up and look at this. Look how many tools they have. You don't have to build all of them. You can just build kind of the beginning, right? Kind of like the top tools they have on, you know, in the beginning, which are probably the main tools that a lot of people use. All right, guys, so that is what I wanted to show you in this video, something that you can get started today, right now, very, very easy without getting bogged down with a lot of these extra features and extra functionality and still monetize it so that you will make money. All right, guys, so I really hope you've gotten value from this video. If you did, give this video a fat thumbs up, like this video, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you want to see more of these really awesome ideas that you can build using no-code apps that you can eventually go out and make money with. Thanks a lot for watching, and I'll see you real soon.